Creating your own digital avatar, well, that usually involves choosing from pre-designed faces and body types. And the result is usually a fun yet cartoonish character used for online gaming or communication. But what if you could create an avatar that looked, acted, and sounded exactly like you in just minutes? CCTV's Mei Li has more on the new technology that lets you do just that. These lifelike 3D images are all avatars that were created in just minutes thanks to researchers here at USC's Institute for Creative Technologies. But before you dismiss this as nothing new, hold on. The fast capture avatar technology goes beyond what's been done before. For example, in big budget Hollywood movies, at a fraction of the cost. You have to capture more than just the appearance. You have to capture behavior, style, you know, the way I sit, the way I talk. My personality is different than yours or anybody's, right? And we want to capture that unique aspect of what makes you you and then embed it into, into an avatar. It starts by capturing full body images. Here at the Institute's lab, a capture cage equipped with 100 cell phone cameras is used. But for the home user, a simple scanning device costing about $100 will do the trick. And it connects to an iPad. The software then begins to form my avatar. This is the first pass, right? So you can see it starts to reconstruct. Oh, right there. A, a, a digital version of yourself. The body is then placed into a pre-programmed skeleton to add movement. This is for face. But the key to personalizing the avatar is capturing facial expressions. Please step forward to begin the face scanning. Researcher Andrew Fung recorded five of my expressions, and because these are my own facial movements versus pre-designed looks, the end result is true to life. Wow. For the $23 billion video gaming industry, realistic avatar technology could introduce totally new experiences. Avid gamer Eric Castillon is eager to try it out. It would probably be a little creepy <laughs> to, you know, to see yourself, uh, 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 you know, rendered realistically, virtually. Uh, uh, but I think it would be awesome, actually, to, to see that and, and to try to, you know, play games as yourself. But how would this technology affect behavior, especially when playing violent video games as yourself and others you know? That would make you, you know, second guess anything that you're going to do in the game. I mean, you wouldn't want to do that. That's your friend, uh, you know, and it looks like them. It, you know, it moves like them. It talks like them, and and yeah. you might you might not, you know, want to do what the game is asking you to do. That kind of realism is exactly why the U.S. military wants to use avatar technology for simulated training. The more realistic, the better prepared the soldier will be in combat. But for those of us who aren't soldiers or gamers, having your own digital doppelganger is pretty cool. A little creepy, but cool. Mainly CCTV, Los Angeles. If you like what you just saw, follow us on social media and visit our website, cctv-america.com.